Film Swap. Meet the Kaloshin family. Mikhail, 35, a civil engineer. His wife, businesswoman Anna, 33. Their son, Vasily, 3. Mikhail's parents, Mikhail, 63, and Catherine, 65, an artist and a model. Also their pets, Richie the dog and Murka the cat. They live in a cube house. We are the Kaloshins, and we live in a cube house near St. Petersburg. Near the president's residence. Wow. <laughs> My name is Catherine. I am Mikhail. We are Mikhail's parents. We all live together in the house. Mikhail and his father own a building company. For many years, they built houses for other people. But a few years ago, they decided to make something special for themselves. I saw this project in Australia. I was so impressed by the glazed facade that I wanted to do something similar for myself. I drafted it on my computer, and my father and I built it together in a year and a half. No building on this street yet. No, nothing yet. They brought some building supplies. Sand and rubble. Sand and rubble. Wait, is that you're doing? Checking if we're working right. We are fine. We built it with our own hands. I know every nail, every tiny screw. I know where I bought it, how much it cost, and how I put it to use. In order to buy all the required nails and tiny screws, the Kaloshin family had to sell two flats in St. Petersburg and agree for both generations to live under the same roof. Why not? There is enough space. The two-storied house with a price of $1,150,500 has a total area of 1,614 square feet, including a giant living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a floating staircase. Additionally, there's a small outbuilding. When my husband came to me and said we would be selling our house and building a new one, I supported him because I'm the perfect wife. I liked this idea because it was unusual. It was a dream come true to him. And you have to sacrifice something for your dreams. That's the way it is. Art requires sacrifice. We ate nothing but boiled buckwheat during the time Mikhail was building the house. The result exceeded our expectations. We are very happy we could build such a gorgeous house. Very different from others. A real horse of a different color. The Genius Project presents its own hardships, however, when it comes to everything situated above the standard ceilings. There are two important things in the house. Love. And a stepladder. We used it to wash the windows, change the light bulbs. It never leaves our side. I'm even jealous, you know. The main thing is to get the lock so that the windows are always clean. Living in this house, sure, it somehow changes your worldview, your perspective on things. This house completely changed my way of thinking. I became a different person. When you sit up there above, look into the distance and see the sky like a giant lake, every day you see it and realize the world is at your feet. And when the world is at your feet, you can no longer be a Catherine. Now it is just Kate and nothing else. Kate is a one-woman army. She constantly goes to Petersburg, hangs out with a lot of people during different interesting events, exhibitions. I think that... This is a great retirement. Yes. I don't think she is ever going to retire. And you better never call her grandma. I'm not going to live like a grandma until the day I die. At some point, I felt this inner protest against retirement as such, against aging. So I got two tattoos. Kate's current hobbies include fashion and interior design, yoga, singing, acting, painting, and with each year she discovers more and more interesting activities. For example, last year saw her debut as a model, and quite a successful one at that. She's a very unusual woman, a very colorful person, sometimes even too colorful. There is too much of her presence here at times, and it's unfortunate. I think you should put some funny sound signal here. So even despite the house's large size, the two generations sometimes feel the lack of space. It's quite difficult to live with my in-laws. We're very different in our characters, upbringing, and worldview. Parents and children should live separately. I would like to have my own cube house, yeah. The cube is getting a little small. Yeah. The home swap is a great chance for the Kaloshians to experience different living conditions and decide whether they want to change something about their own lifestyle. Home swap.
Now, meet the Achila family. Bakadir, 29, a bank analyst, his wife Elena, a sales consultant, and their two children, Malika and Asan. They live in a private house in the center of Tolyati. We are the Achilovs. Our household motto is, love makes a cottage into a castle. A year and a half ago, the Achilovs got this cottage from Bakadir's parents that left for Moscow to earn money. Our parents did wisely in leaving this house to us. It is difficult to rent a flat when you have two kids. The landlord can come and evict you at any moment. And so, after constant wandering from flat to flat, this house seemed a wonderful gift. Our house is neither wealthy nor large, but it's ours. Home swap. For us, this house serves as an island of privacy. It's our fortress. A corner hidden away from the entire outside world. This $13,000 place with a total area of 580 square feet includes two bedrooms, a small kitchen, a bathroom with a toilet, a rickety Russian sauna, and a shed. The most valuable things in the house are the TV set, the washing machine, and the fridge. I thought that would be me. <laughs> There is a lot to do here, repairing the roof, tidying up, cleaning the water drain, doing something in the garden, and so on. There's always work. And our children spend a lot of time outside too. Bakadir's family originally came from Uzbekistan, and so they follow an Eastern tradition of gathering to eat pilaf every Saturday. My sisters and their husbands, children, aunts, uncles, nieces, my mother-in-law, everybody comes to visit and the whole place gets very crowded. Where is Aunt Gujan? Is she coming or not? She is. Where is she now? So we're waiting for Aunt Gujan too? Getting together, staying in touch with your relatives are good traditions that help strengthen our relationships and also serve to show a good example to our children. The atmosphere inside the house is very, very important. And it's as warm as Uzbekistan. It's all fun and lively, but passions run high sometimes too. Sweetheart, why is the room so dirty? Why is the broom on the floor? I haven't had the time to clean up yet. You sit at home all day and do nothing. Our family is a patriarchal one. He is the head of everything. It's the Muslim way. He says it, so I do it. He always has the last word. No matter how much I scold her, she can take it and turn it into a joke. Takes it in a humorous way. I like that. I want Bakadir to finally get a shake-up and finally start living with me. He's fixed on this idea. It's always relatives, relatives, relatives with him. We only ever talk to them, and I want something more, some kind of breakthrough. The home swap is a chance for Elena to show her husband that there is more to life than Eastern-style family dinners, and that it would be nice to do at least repairs around the house before demanding her to constantly keep it perfectly clean. Home swap. According to the rules of the project, two families swap their houses and lifestyles, cars, household problems, and sometimes even leisure activities. Both couples leave each other a sum of money for three days based on how much they usually spend themselves. Well, how much should we leave for them? We should leave a lot. No, we shouldn't. Let's take the middle ground and leave them $400. No way. I suggest $300. $40. On the one hand, I think $40 is enough, but on the other, a flight, just a flight alone, will cost them $95. We don't yet know what flight Kate is talking about, but if it can make the Achilovs fly over their problems, then it will be worth its money. We will leave them $40 so they can visit Peterhof. And the food? Take a walk around. We have enough food, but maybe they will want to try something new. So it's $40 plus $95, all right? $135 in total. Let's see. They'll be here for three days. I think $45 should be enough to buy food. With $15 a day? I think that will be fine. Yeah, maybe we should leave them $70 instead. We'll leave $30. That's more than enough. I can't see why you're so angry. First of all, we leave them pilaf. Fine. Secondly, we've preserved food in the cellar, so we will leave $30. That's it. End of discussion. Fine, fine. You're the head of the house. All right. Let's put it in the envelope. Brilliant. Home swap. 
The families leave instructions for each other so that the rightful owners get their houses back in their original states, and the guests fully experience a different life. They will leave each other photos as proof that they followed the instructions. I would like to live by the side of a lake or maybe on some step. We already live by the side of a lake. I want a different lake. Or maybe I would like something authentic, different from our modern household. I would like to live in the mountains, somewhere that is warm and sunny, and I would like to live in a house inside a rock, maybe even the kind of house where you need to stoke a fire. We are interested in everything. I think we would like to live in an unusual house, to see something different. I would like a house on the seashore. Something interesting. Something new. Something that will drastically change our life for the better. Now that we listen to everyone's wishes, it is time to swap houses. The Kaloshin family heads over to Tolyati, the motherland of the Russian car industry. While the Achilovs head to the suburbs next to St. Petersburg, the cultural capital. Welcome to your new homes. Day one. This one? This one. This is our house. Wow. It's like a gingerbread cottage. It's very authentic. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of run down, though. It's kind of rusty. <laughs> Renovations would take a year, I think. Many years, I think. This facade, I would just take everything down myself and repaint it all over. Wonder how it would look all fixed up. We could make an amazing house out of this. Everything is coming off. The paint. The moment we saw, we started making plans, thinking about how to redo it. My first thought was that we needed to repaint and clean everything. There is also an option to blow this place up and build a new glass house on the site. But three days is just too little time. I don't know who the people who live here are or if they are very busy. Then I'm free and I can help you, right? Found yourself a new client, huh? My first impression was that it was the house of very, very elderly people. I felt pity for them. Well, what have we got here? Oh, we had a similar shed. Wow, a Russian sauna. A sauna. This is probably a place to lie down after. This house probably belongs to gypsies. Huh. People actually wash here. And where is the house? Where do they live? This place must be 30 years old. Even the spiders starved to death. This is for a phone. At least some sign of civilization. To be honest, I now have a feeling that I fell into an upside-down rabbit hole. My first impression was that the house was maybe abandoned. There was many old things, junk lying around. In the 90s, people would store and pile up things like that. Junk and storage. On the one hand, I felt nostalgic for the 90s, but on the other hand, the 90s are long gone now. Do you want to play here? No, I don't want to play. Do you want to live here? No. To be honest, I was disappointed. I felt very sad. And the house felt... Very neglected. Ah, that is a cellar. A cellar. They probably store food here in case of the apocalypse. One's only hope is that the food hasn't been lying here since the 90s. I think it's a disaster. So this is the house, huh? The adults are not the only ones afraid of living here. Vasily doesn't even want to enter and insists on leaving this new territory as soon as possible. I don't want to go. Malika. They must be southerners. Malika, Achilova. Maybe they aren't from here originally. Someone is sleeping on the floor. How many kids do they have? Someone sleeps here and there. I saw wallpaper coming off. If the children were staring at these ragged walls until they were five, then nothing is going to change in their lives even if you move them to a palace or a crystal castle later. They will still remember these ragged walls. We saw some scrappy mattress and a pillow on the floor. This is a kid's pillow. We could see someone was sleeping on the floor right on top of this mattress. This is unhygienic. I don't know. And Kate, well versed in high fashion and interior design, turned her attention to this unusual suit. Look, this color suits you. It's a perfect match. Father is the first to sit behind the table. They must be from Uzbekistan. Muslims, maybe? 
Of course. Traditional robes, hats, I find them very beautiful and unusual. Kate can't hold back tears from the overflow of emotions and memories from the times when Uzbekistan and Russia were in the same country. We were living in the times of the Soviet Union. I somehow feel pity for these people. It's not their fault everything happened like this. They don't have a choice but to live in these conditions. These feelings overtook me all at once. I was actually shaking. I couldn't believe we were in our times. This is too much. It's... Maybe it's from the past. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be in their place. I have been a builder all my life. You could repair this place even without any money. Well, you would need 40 cents to buy things like spatulas. I don't understand who could live in such a house. And while the Kaloshans are wondering who the owners of the house might be, those owners themselves have almost reached their temporary new home. The booth at the entrance of this suburb is better than our house. You have the keys. Oh, Don, you got it. Wow, look, it's a dog. Who's a good boy? A kitty. Kitty. There is an entire zoo worth of pets. I don't know what it's like inside, but it looks great from here. I really like this place. I love the giant windows. I also like how they put up spruces around the perimeter. It's pretty. When I first saw the house, I thought it had a very unusual shape. It's drastically different from our own. Beautiful, new, modern, large. Nothing like our house. What a cool house. Hangers. Everything's in order like it should be. Yeah, our house is. Come on, let's check out the toilet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The high ceilings are really cool. We found the toilet. Is it golden? No, it's normal. The chandeliers are awesome. Listen, let's go change our clothes. It's kind of hot in here. Let's go. Look, those doors are amazing. Sliding doors, huh? You wanted to make the kitchen like this, didn't you? Well, yeah. I love how light everything is. Yeah, the windows are big. I liked that everything was very light. They have toys? Means they have kids. At least one kid. Yeah. Balls and toy cars. Let's check out the kitchen. It's bigger than ours. You can sit behind the table. Home swap. And while the parents were marveling at the size of the new kitchen, the kids found a new thing to do. The floating staircase was more alluring than any toy. Come on, come on, down, 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 come on. The staircase is actually very dangerous. They can easily fall through between the steps. You better not climb there alone. Don't. You're not allowed. Roller blinds. Yeah. We can see the neighbors from here. Do you want a spanking? Malika, play here. I see you don't understand me. The staircase's design is interesting, but extremely unpractical, especially when there are children around trying to climb it. It can be dangerous. In order to somehow distract the children from their dangerous games, Elena and Bakadir decided to inspect what was inside the fridge. Vegetables? Pollock filet? Fish? Do they have meat? No. Seems like there are... Vegetarians? Vegetarian. But vegetarians don't eat fish, right? You think this borscht is vegetarian too? Without meat? Don't know. Well, I don't think we will starve. Having made sure there is food in the fridge, the Achilovs continued their tour around the house. I don't know what this tap is for. Is it a flush? I mean, really. What do you mean you don't know? What is this tap? Don't touch it, leave it. I don't know. How can you not know? Come on. Well, I don't know. What do they wash with it? My first thought was, damn, their toilet doesn't flush and we will have to use the pipe for that. We don't have such things in our house. We use toilet paper. Seems like these people must be simply obsessed with cleanliness. Wow, this must be their bedroom. Yeah, that's the bedroom. The bedroom is awesome. Yes. We could use such a bed. Now we all sleep on the floor. This wardrobe seems convenient. These look like diapers. Just like home, right? Yes. The bed is so hard. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like it has sand inside. Now that they have inspected the first floor, it is time for the second. This must be the woman of the house. Look, it's all massages, some hands, a Buddha statue. 
I thought it was the house of witches, or some healers, I guess. I guess I was even scared at the thought. The husband must be a healer and his wife a tailor? Or the other way around. Look what was written here. My first drawing, to Grandma Kate. To Grandma Kate, so she has a granddaughter. They may be living together with the grandma. Yoga, yoga. Yoga, search for power. What a lively old grandma, this one. She does yoga and sewing too? She's probably retired and just needs something to keep herself busy. That's why she does yoga. You can't tell she is retired by the look of her. Malika, let's go. Let's go, daughter. The chandelier is awesome. How do you even change these light bulbs? You would need a big stepladder for that. Ah, there they are. See those stepladders behind the shed. But this view is just gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Let's sit down. Okay, let's sit. And yet, unfortunately, the Achilovs couldn't sit down and enjoy the panoramic view. We don't understand what is drawing our children to the staircase. Children and staircases are a nightmarish mix. This may be fun for them, but this staircase is dangerous. It's even steep for an adult. You know, maybe that's where she does yoga. Yeah, maybe so. Judging by the carpet, the view is so great. She's like opening up to the cosmos. Meanwhile, the Kaloshans in Pugliati finally realized that their owners were not living so badly after all. What is the brand? Suede jackets, too. That's a surprise. Brindovi. What? What's the brand? A famous one, I'm telling you. Golden diamonds. A fur coat. When am I getting my fur coat? Listen, maybe he's from Wall Street. It's all new. He must be an Italian. Uzbek. Uzbek. Yeah. So he has money for clothes, but not for the house? These clothes are good. It's getting stranger and stranger. Yeah. Clothes are one thing, but now is just the time to check what is inside the fridge. Guys, the fridge is fine. All clean and proper. I see a cake, and they left us pilaf. Great. This is good, nothing like, no way am I eating this. I now feel like I can actually eat here. And what's there? The toilet is fine. They have a good washing machine. It's all good. The shower is all right. Same as the toilet, the sink, the washing machine. I was impressed by how clean the fridge was, both inside and outside. There was a toilet. There was. Indeed there was. We saw the shower. The washing machine. And we realized that this place was actually livable. Well, since the place is livable, it is time to learn about the rules of the house and the budget for the next three days. Oh, a shovel. Oh, they have a shovel, too. Yes. The vegetable garden should be prepared for the beginning of spring planting. Snow is very useful for this. We shouldn't clear it. It should soak into the ground. It's good for the soil. Kate has already decided her stance on the first rule and freed the entire family from following it. As good hosts, we receive visitors at our house each Sunday, and we only serve halal dishes. Hail, maybe? No, no. Halal food is like ordinary food, but they are like, how do I... They pray before serving it? Yeah, yeah. Wait. Sunday is tomorrow. We don't have a central sewage system. We have a cesspool. And when it fills, we'll have to watch it. I bet it says clean it. No, watch it. We have to clean it. No, watch it. No, I'm on your side, actually. I would rather just watch it, preferably from afar. I see they left us $30. I suggest we spend all this money to repair the house. Home swap. Is this a plane? We often like to get a bird's eye view of our house, so we booked plane tickets just for you to admire it. This is just awesome. Okay, let's board the plane. Oh my god. Now we know what flight Kate was talking about. We think that clean windows are vital for keeping spirits high. So we try our best to keep them clean. So this means I will lay on the sofa while you wash the windows. As usual. That is all. Watch that the snow doesn't pile up on the roof. Well, I don't think there'll be any snow because... I hope it is all melted. Yes. Yeah, sweetheart, look! They left us $135. We're rich! They said that they booked the flight but hadn't paid for it, so we will have to pay for it with this money. Maybe we'll spend everything on it. So we will ration it. Now that everyone knows the rules and budgets of their respective homes, it is time to begin a new life. The Achilovs decided to start with a hearty meal. The food in the fridge seems suspicious, but it was still food. Porsche without meat? Wonder what it tastes like. 
Well, this borscht is edible, but it's not the same. Oh, okay. I'm not so hungry as to eat fasting dishes. Let's stick it out until dinner. We could go shopping. No offense, owners, but this food isn't for us. We can't eat boiled vegetables only. This isn't food. I can't imagine how a man can survive without meat. To be honest, I can't understand people who don't eat meat. All these vegans and vegetarians, I don't understand what they're trying to prove to themselves and other people. The fasting left the family unable to trust even the tea. Well, the tea seems to be all right. You have ordinary black tea. The smell is nice. Oh, did you hear that? Malika, what have you done now? Come on, no need to scream. It's just a cup. Let's hope it's not their favorite one. Here's the dustpan. But where's the broom? Look, they have a brush over there. I'll find it. It can't be that they have no cleaning supplies for the house. What an odd house. They clean with the power of thought or something? Try thinking. Maybe that will clean it up. I can't do this. My spirit is not that strong. I have to do it the old-fashioned way. This is ridiculous. I don't know how else to clean up here. How can people not have these kinds of things at hand? You don't know because maybe they do, and you just didn't find it, so don't you jump to conclusions like that. I couldn't find the broom, so I had to clean up everything using a paintbrush. In the meantime, the Colossians are going through a cooking trial of their own, albeit of a different kind. My dear vegetarian children, here is your trial. You can either starve or eat meat. Delicious. Yes, so many plates. It is like we are having guests over. Imagine if someone starts knocking now. And we're all ready. And we've already set the table. Maybe this show will finally make you give up on vegetarianism after all. Maybe. Come on, Mikhail. Try that sweet mutton, Mikhail. I haven't eaten meat for eight years. Try it. And you want me to eat it now? Just a tiny piece. And what if I don't wake up tomorrow? I'm just kidding. Looks like chickpeas. Something like that. Let's try it. Let's see how you take it. Come on. Damn, it's good. <laughs> Hooray! It's so tender. Why would you suffer these eight years? Tender and delicious. They know how to do it. I hadn't eaten meat for eight years. I decided to try it and was surprised at how delicious it was. I'm overall pleased by the results of this trial. And well fed. And their traditional soup is this kind of meal where potatoes are soaked in meat stock. It's been a long time since I've eaten it. He enjoyed it. Who's that? Hey. Hello. Good day. It is time to pump the septic tank. Oh, wow. Hooray. I feel sick. I went outside and I saw that it was a septic tank emptier. <laughs> Vasily, look, we'll be pumping out poop now. Of course, I was very happy that there was a special person in charge of that, and we didn't have to pump it ourselves. Can we take a picture? Why? We need proof that we completed the task. It turned out that the Achulovs had a season ticket for the septic tank pumper, so luckily they didn't have to pay any money. A poop truck. Done. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I'll be honest, it smelled like crap. Like crap. <laughs> Home swap. In the meantime, the Achilovs too decided to follow the rules, and thus Bakadir decided to climb the roof to check the snow, so they could rest easily for the next three days. I believe in you. You won't fall. Like a small bomb. Thank you. Just hold the ladder here, okay? Put your leg just like that. Of course. Okay. Hey, wait, I'll take a photo. Cheese. Gorgeous. The most important thing is to take a photo. And the snow? The snow will melt down someday anyway. I think I'm coming down. I was afraid to climb onto the roof. I'm afraid of heights. I couldn't go there. Imagine my wife having to call emergency workers to get me down. 
In order to cheer Bakhtir up again, the entire family set out in search of his beloved meat. Good day. Good day. Could you tell me where the nearest grocery store is? There is a store down the street. Do you live here? Yeah, here. Are you visiting someone? We're staying here for three days while your neighbors are staying at our house. We swapped homes. Oh, that's cool. We would like to invite you over to this house. We want to learn more about the people living in this house. Sure, I would be happy to. I have a question. We would like to cook our national dish. Do you maybe have a big pan or something like that? I don't have a big pan, but I have a pot for fish broth. I think they're the same size. Yeah, that will do. That would be great. Thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you. It was a short walk to the store, but the Achilovs didn't like what they saw. This store is so small. I can't find any meat. They only have sausages. Our only option is to buy chicken. But it's frozen. But it's frozen. 350 for a pound and a half. That is way too little chicken. We can take two chickens. Two chickens. That will cost us eight dollars. I understand, but they left us money. This is insane. No way. So we'll buy it. We will have a guest over, and it's the only shop in the entire suburb. How do they live here? That's a good question. Damn, these prices, though. 225 for tomatoes? Are they filled with gold or something? I don't get it. This is insane. They cost more than meat. These tiny tomatoes cost $2.25 per pound. I'll never forget this price. I got the impression that this was a shop for millionaires. They must bring these vegetables from space. Mars, maybe. The bread isn't too expensive. Are you sure? You mean this? Yeah, I didn't notice that this was the price for only half a loaf. Things here are twice as expensive as they are at home. Twice? I would say three times. Mom, I want to buy this! No, you don't, Malika. Believe me, you don't want to buy anything at this price. Look, they sell Uzbek pilaf. Wow, so let's not bother and buy this to serve to the guests instead. Listen, maybe we should try it. How much? You're Petersburg? Guys, this is too much. Really? You know, we could charge an entrance fee for the guests. Back in Toliati, my entire family could live on $135 half a month. The prices here are terrible. While the Achilovs are struggling to accept their new reality, the Kaloshans, now happy and well-fed, decide who will sleep where. Mikhail, we can sleep on the floor. Wait, what do you mean? I thought we would take the couch. Mikhail, now there's a crib for the child. I'll take the couch. Yeah, you see? I'm the oldest. There's also the sauna. Want to sleep there? Actually, I don't. In the end, Kate and Mikhail took the couch, while the female half of the family found a new apple of discord, a small blanket. This is my blanket. Don't touch it. No, no, no. We found it before you. And how will we sleep? How can you take people's blankets away like that? Mikhail, defend your wife. Give it back. What is with you two? I can just sleep like this. You can sleep however you like it, but this blanket is mine. Don't touch it, kids. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, Kate, how do you like this? This life? This life. I built such a great house for you, you know? You ought to appreciate me more. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, thank God. Look, there are stars! Under the starry sky of Tolyati. Well done, Vasily. Thank you. Come on, let's sleep. In the meantime, Bagadir went to the neighbors after returning from the store. But he didn't have to go very far indeed. What a thoughtful neighbor. What is it? He brought the pot and left it by the gate. Really? Yeah, we should wash it. Now let's try the pilaf we bought from the store. Do it like this, I said. Do it faster, mother. But you can't speak to your mother like this. Only I can do that. Shall we risk it? It's canned meat. And a cheap brand at that. This is disgusting. I don't think we will eat that. Let's feed it to the dog. I'm sure she'll like it. 
That's right. No one should overeat before bed. It's bad for one's health, and it's high time everyone went to sleep. Okay, the children are finally sleeping. Let's try to sleep too. We're getting up early tomorrow. Good night. Day two. The Colossians started the morning of the second day with philosophical and even rhetorical questions. Mikhail, where are we? Mikhail! Where, you say? Not home. That's for sure. My neck. And I could never fit my legs right. I guess we could feel that we were sleeping in somebody else's home. Hey, who's there? Hey, listen, at least your room isn't so stuffy. The air is nice. Like in a health resort in Belarus. Where are we now? I don't get it. Took us some time to think about that, too. But wherever one wakes up, they should always have breakfast. Porridge made by Kate is the best way for the Kaloshans to begin a new day. Have a nice meal, everyone. Thanks. Make sure you eat, but make more for the guests, as they say. Not to mention, that guest a plenty will come. Where will we find meat? There must be a market nearby. So we'll walk around the market and look for halal meat. Just see that we have enough money left for paint. By the way, we decided to paint the house. We have a lot to do, so pick up the pace. Fifteen minutes later, the entire family is heading over to the store, right and proper. Oh, a cute place, right? Yeah. Oh, we should have painted the neighbor's house. Good day. Good day. Can you tell us where the market is? First, you go straight ahead, and then turn to the right. How far from here? A five-minute walk. Oh, that's close by. By the way, could you lend us a ladder? Absolutely. Thank you very much. We are lucky to have such neighbors. Thank you very much. Glad to help. Fine, thank you. Here is the market and the meat. Oh, here, look, the sign reads halal. We need meat for pilaf. How much do we need? This piece is enough. This piece is enough? Yeah, I think it will be. That will be enough. We'll chop it into small pieces. Great. Thank you very much. Finding halal meat wasn't too difficult. Even I never heard that word before, but we found it quickly. A bundle of parsley, a bundle of dill. While Kate and her children were buying the greens, Mikhail is grilling the vendors for a good pilaf recipe. Do we need to soak it? The rice? Yeah, a little. For how long? Maybe like 15 minutes. I see, thank you. I think I saw spices at home. Yeah, we also need to go to a hardware store. Okay, you can look for your stuff and we'll find our way home. Wait, what city is this? Hush, I'm kidding. They didn't have to go far to find the hardware store. It was just around the corner. Let's get white paint for the skirt. And we'll need a wide brush for the blue paint to fix up some spots. I brought a piece from home. Did you rip it off? Well, I think this piece suits this one just fine. Great, let's take two cans. That will be enough for sure. This one is cheaper, just 18 cents. 18 cents. We can afford paint for a quarter, right? Sure we can. And breathing masks. Maybe we could buy them porch lights. Let's look for something white and cool. I like the... Yeah, I think these would fit there perfectly. Had Bakadir known how the Kaloshans would spend the money, he would have left them more. Maybe they would have built him a palace in place of his cottage. I thought that the money they had left us was just enough to repair the house and make it look good. I wanted to show them that it is possible to quickly renovate a place to look beautiful even on a tight budget. While the Colossians are buying up supplies to fix Bakadir's house, Bakadir is being lazy. But it seems that neither Elena nor the kids enjoy this outcome. Dad! Dad! You'll be late for work. Today is a day off. You overslept. All the better. Dad, come on, get up! My little beauty. Dad! Get up! Get up, Dad! Fine, fine. I'm getting up. Let's sleep some more, Hassan. The sun is shining so bright. Look, even the dog is sunbathing. She is just waiting until they give her food. Same as the cat and the rest of the Achila family. These windows. It is cool that they give us such a large viewing angle. But the room gets very hot. They're very inconvenient and impractical.
And I really hate it how the neighbors can see us all the time. It's like we're monkeys in the zoo. Such a big family and such a little oven, look! Not enough place for just two pots. We will have to cook the pilaf on the open fire. We could make a fire somewhere in the yard. They have a ton of building supplies left over here. We could fry the cat. He's so fat and everything. There are only two burners, no oven, no microwave. At home we always cook several dishes at once, first and second courses. Tea. I like the way this house looks, but it's really lacking in the practical department. It has many flaws. But Bakadir has a chance to improve on at least one of its flaws. There are always some useless things lying around the sheds that can be made into something useful instead. Look, it's a plane. Well, it's lopsided. Better now. I laid the groundwork for a more convenient, practical barbecue spot for the entire family to use. And while Bakadir is working on the master device, Elena decided to wash the children's tights. And so she got into a fight with the washing machine. Am I that stupid? I think it should... Honey, help me. I don't understand how this thing works. Are you telling me you can't handle a washing machine? Yes, look, I tried pressing all the buttons. Careful. I don't get it. Bakadir's mathematical mindset helped him solve the problem quickly. If the light indicators are off, then check whether the machine is plugged in. And it wasn't. Where's the powder, by the way? Look around, it must be nearby. I only see onions. So you're saying they don't have washing powder? I don't know. Maybe it's behind the washing machine. Or they just don't use it? They must have powder here. What can you expect from vegetarians? Soup without meat, laundry without detergent. But Elena is an experienced housewife. There is still soap. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you have any other ideas? Just like in the army. Well, it's worse than the army. Don't forget to wash the grater, or it'll taste like soap. Okay. Grate some soap, pour some shampoo, and this is all the automatic washing machine will need. Being a housewife, there I felt like a child who just went to school for the first time. I didn't know my way around the place. Home swap. Meanwhile, Vakadir feels right at home. He cooked the pilaf and he is ready to meet his guests, the neighbor and his little son. Come on in. Hi. The kids quickly got along, while the grown-ups are making small talk. How do you find St. Petersburg? It's just worlds apart from the place we live in. You could say we live in an old house. We live in an old wooden house. Let's set the table, shall we? Chicken pilaf. Yeah, we couldn't find any beef around here. Won't they fall down? Here we go again. It seems that the staircase indeed has a mystical ability to draw children to it, the owners as well as everyone else's. We have been trying to keep them away from it, but nothing helps. We would like to know about this family. Oh, there they go again. They're one interesting family. Mikhail and Kate have a hobby of collecting herbs, mushrooms. So there is something unusual about them. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing, nothing. A son is at it again. Our children were extremely naughty during our stay. There is no TV, so we couldn't just turn on some cartoons to get them to sit down. I didn't know how to keep them busy, so they kept themselves busy playing around this dangerous staircase. What do they do for a living? Mikhail and his son Mikhail Jr. are builders. So the son and father share a name? Yes, they built this house together. They live here together. Kate's hobbies are sewing and meditation. She advocates for alternative medicine. They're good neighbors. Yeah, you're very lucky with them. They booked us a flight, and we would like to know more about what it is and how it works. You can board a plane and see the house from above. I think it's awesome. Cool. It is in a nearby village. It is difficult to say that we had just one guest. Just one guest, yeah. We don't do it like that at home. We always have many people over. It was a very quiet dinner. 
We could instantly see that the neighbors were all very nice. This person seemed very kind-hearted. I felt like the people living here were all very kind. It was very nice to meet you. It is genuine. You too. While the Achilas are saying goodbye to their guest, the Kaloshans are preparing for the arrival of theirs. The men are fixing up the house while the women are cooking pilaf. We need to take before and after photos. Shall we begin with the makeover of the century? Yeah, sure. Mikhail! Do you have a small ladder? Yeah, yeah, I do. Does Bakadir know what the two of you are going to do here? No, it will be a surprise. We won't change the color. Yeah, that's right. It'll still be a blue house with white windows. It'll be great, but we'll fix it. Thank you. We'll work here. And we'll have guests over in the evening. Please come by. Sure, I will. Their spirits lifted. Father and son get down to their favorite business, renovating. We began the preparations. We sanded everything down, cleaned off the old paint to prepare the house for the makeover. We wanted to keep everything in its original form. In the meantime, Kate and Anna are making pilaf together for the first time in their lives. I washed the rice ten times over. I remember I cooked pilaf once back when I wasn't a vegetarian. We should cut the meat. Well, cutting does not mean eating. I thought I'd have a hard time cutting it, but once I started cutting it, my muscle memory kicked in. The ability to handle meat on the cutting board had not dwindled in the 20 years of being vegetarian. But between cooking and renovating, Kate chose the latter, leaving Anna alone in the kitchen. Pour me some paint then. We'll keep this light vintage look. No, Mom, listen, don't paint this bit. Apply paint only in the area around the windows. While your grandparents and dad are painting the facade, we should rest a little, right? Close your eyes then. They finished painting the house quickly, but Kate developed a taste for it. She wanted even more. I would like to repaint their gate too. I want to repaint everything in this city. The main thing is that you don't need any special skills for this. I mean, at all. Well, yeah. Even a five-year-old girl could do all of this. I think the house's price has just gone up. Yeah. The painting work is done by famous architects from Petersburg. In their favorite style, art vintage. While the Achilov's house is growing in value, the car arrived to pick them up and bring them to the airfield. A dream service. All of this at the price of $95. But the Achilov's don't know about that yet. Is that the ticket office? Yeah, here. Good day. There's a flight booked for us? The Achilov's? Yeah, there's a flight for you. How much is it? $95. What? Did you hear? That's insane. My God, at least we can pay for it. Yeah. Is there a place where we can leave our children? There's a kid's playground. An entertainer will look after them. Oh, that's great. Nice. The entertainer's services are free, and so the Achilovs can board the plane with a clear conscience. Home swap. Good day. Good day. Good day. My name is Erlo. Nice to meet you. I'm Bakadir. Elena. First, the Achilovs are given a briefing. First, you fasten your seat belts. Then you put on your headphones and listen to the pilot's instructions. And that's all. You can enjoy your flight. Can you take a picture of us in front of the plane? I'm sorry, but there's a saying that taking photos before a flight brings bad luck. So, photos will have to wait. Off they go. They even have armrests. Wow. You know what this machine reminds me of? Remember how we were in Uzbekistan and we rode that rattle trap? Are you from Uzbekistan? Which city? Samarkand. Great. <laughs> Meeting your fellow countrymen inside a three-person plane is priceless. Well, minus the small price of $95. This is my first experience in a plane. I've never boarded a plane before, not even once, not even the giant passenger planes. Too bad there aren't any direct flights from St. Petersburg to Tolyati. That would make for a great experience. <laughs> 
This is awesome. From above, the Achilovs could see Peterhof and a lot more. Just about everything but their cube house. I was trying to catch a glimpse at the house because all the villages here look so much alike. I saw some similar houses. Maybe I did spot ours in the end. Somehow I didn't hear your applause. So, how was it? Great! I loved it! And you? I got sick. Still recovering. Looks like flying isn't my thing. You would make a bad spaceman. Okay, sure. Now take a picture as you promised. Let's do it. I am probably just not used to the pressure drops and got air sickness. I felt very dizzy and a little sick. To be honest, it was so bad I couldn't care much about what was going on outside. It's very different. All your life you walk through Mother Earth and all of a sudden you're flying. I'll remember this day for the rest of my life. I would rather ride a bike or take a walk in the park with my children. This is better. I'll leave the flying to the birds. In the meantime, the Colossians' guests in Tolyati finally arrived. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Don't be shy. It's cold outside. Sit down. It's even colder where we come from, in St. Petersburg. Sit down. Treat yourself to some pilaf, we... Wait, let's introduce ourselves first. I'm Mikhail. I'm Ahmel, Bakadir's relative. I'm Olga. Olga. Anna. <laughs> Hassan, Hassan, Jacam. It's nice to meet all of you, Kate, Mikhail, Anna, and this is Vasily. We felt a bit confused because there were just so many of them. But they didn't feel confused at all. They just sat where they liked, and all of them sat on the sofa, not on the floor. I wanted to ask, what does halal mean? According to Muslim traditions, when people cut down a bull or a cow, they must first pray and then do everything according to Muslim law. Is this their house, or are they renting it? At first, they rented flats, lived here and there, but then their parents decided to leave for Moscow, to work, and left them this house. Bakadir works in the banking system. Is Elena from Russia? Russian. Yes, she's from Russia, a local. When we first came here, we were very disappointed with how the house looked. It isn't their fault. It is really the previous owners who let this house go. They wanted to repair the house in summer. Oh, I see. At first, it seemed like they were all nervous, but as we spoke, we understood why they felt this way. When I first came here, I only saw some strangers painting the house. It looked like you were bossing someone around. But it turns out you understood and knew everything, that you were good people, kind. Thank you. We now understand that there are good people living here. It's very tasty. Kate never forgot to mention how she washed rice ten times over until the water becomes clear, but it turns out that all of their efforts were in vain. You only need to wash it twice. Then why was the water so murky? When you wash rice too many times, you wash out the vitamins. By the way, this is a very valuable piece of advice. I was thinking something like, washing it is so time-consuming, unwashed rice is better. The women talk about cooking, and the men are here for serious matters. That is why Mikhail and Bakadir's uncle decided to go outside to take a look at the renovated facade and discuss the house's pressing issues. Imagine if a child trips over this wardrobe, or this. You look like a smart person. You could tell them this. You could tell them what they should do. This, this, and that. You're right. When they return, I will tell them to start repairing this house now. To start doing something. Yes, you should teach them, push them even. I hope you take no offense. No, of course not. I can take useful criticism. It's a deal then. Now that there is no doubt in the bright future of the house, it is time to take a group photo. One, two... Thank you all. Thank you for coming and supporting us. We got a little scared. By the way, there are still some brushes and paint left. Brushes and paint left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gather three people, give them three rollers, and there you go. Everyone was very friendly to us. They even liked our pilaf, even though we had never cooked it before. 
Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Home swap. Meanwhile, in St. Petersburg, Bakadir still can't regain his senses and has even abstained from dinner. Had my body not let me down at that moment, I would have enjoyed it greatly. This whole thing is great, but flying just isn't for us. Yeah, you and I, we're real homebodies. I hope that the owners won't object to us cooking meat, like we spoiled the vegetarian aura or something. Well, the house became ours for three days, so we can follow our rules now, to some extent. So, we'll eat meat here. Well, I agree. Maybe that is why I felt so dizzy. I barely ate any meat in the last two days. There is hardly any connection between meat and laundry, and yet Bakadir spoke. Elena suddenly remembered the things she washed. Let's see. It smells nice. Looks like it washed nicely, too. Great, the clothes are soft. It's like we wash them with conditioner. You can get by without powder as long as you use your wits. Home swap. But Elena doesn't need to use her wits now. She can personally ask all her questions, since, according to the rules of the project, families are introduced to each other via video call at the end of the second day. It is their only chance to share their impressions of the home swap. Hello. Wow, hello. Hello. Hello, guys. How do you like our house? Well, it's very big and beautiful. Yeah, big. And it's really well maintained, unlike our house. I think you noticed that. Yeah, you probably already had a chance to notice that. Why is the back of your house in such a bad state? It's just that the house belongs to our parents and those are their things. We don't really touch them. Clean this place up or next time I come visit you with a hammer. We will call you, of course. You know, I have a question. You have such a big family, but only two burners. How do you cook at home? We are vegetarians. We don't eat meat of any kind. Well, we actually do have a small oven there in the shed. I took it out. But it's very old. Have you visited anywhere? We visited your shop. The shop? The staircase here is so dangerous. Aren't you scared your child might fall out of it? He was born to the staircase. We take precautions. We, uh, can you see it? We put furniture there so our children can't climb it. Well done. We wanted to tell you, your relatives are so great. It is like a true big family. We are happy that you enjoyed this. It is time we put the children to sleep. Goodbye. It was very nice talking to you. Yeah. You're all very nice people. It would be great to meet you in person sometime, too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Day 3. Even though the meeting with the Yachilovs was very warm, it was a very cold morning in Tolyati. You're so cold. Don't touch me. Mikhail, why is it so cold? Something's wrong with the windows? No, it can't be. They're double glazed. What do we do? I don't know. We have to get up and take a look. It's freezing in here. Yeah. It was freezing. We didn't understand what had happened. So she started pushing me. I was shivering from the cold. And if I'm cold, something must be done about it. Yeah, the radiators are cold. So is it cold? Let's go. What's going on? Well, what is it we have here? That's gas. I see a lot of duct tape. It must be a burner. Their gas boiler or gas burner went out, so all of us woke up from the cold at home. All right. I'll try pressing this button, and you light the match. Okay. Come on. Come on. Well, put it inside. It isn't working. Let's try again. Just don't blow up the house. It's not working. Oh, really? We've got to get out of here. Come on, press it. Well, it doesn't burn. Come on, let's try it again. Press it. Light the fire. Got to catch the moment. It's somewhere in the middle. Go on, press it, the middle part. 
Damn, what was that? You'll burn the child. We need to fix this. We need matches. We tried to jumpstart the boiler, but 